Hi, welcome to Science Co. Love with Sir Dell. And for today's lesson, let us discuss the elements and atoms. What is matter? Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. All matter is made of atoms, and what is atom? Atoms are the building blocks of matter, sort of how bricks are the building blocks of houses. An atom has three parts, proton equals positive, neutron equals no charge, electron equals negative. The proton and neutron are found in the center of the atom, a place called the nucleus. The electrons orbit the nucleus. What are elements? Elements are the alphabet to the language of molecules. To make molecules, you must have elements. Elements are made of atoms. While the atoms may have different weights and organization, they are all built in the same way. Atoms always have as many electrons as protons. Atoms usually have about as many neutrons as protons. Adding a proton makes a new kind of atom. Adding a neutron makes an isotope of the atom, a heavier version of that atom. More about elements. Elements are the building blocks of all matter. The periodic table is a list of all of the elements that can build matter. It's a little like the alphabet of chemistry. The periodic table tells us several things. Periodic table. The atomic number is the number of protons and it is also the number of electrons in an atom of an element, which is 8. Elements symbol. An abbreviation for the element, which is capital C. The element's name is oxygen. To compute the atomic mass or atomic weight, this is the formula. Just add number of protons and number of neutrons. Atom models. There are two models of the atoms we will be using in class. First is Bohr model, second is Lewis dot structure or symbol. Bohr model. The Bohr model shows all of the particles in the atom. In the center as circles. Each circle represents a single neutron or proton. Protons should have a plus or P written on them. Neutrons should be blank or have an N. In a circle around the nucleus are the electrons. Electrons should have a minus sign or an E. Electrons have special rules. You can't just shove all of the electrons into the first orbit of an electron. Electrons live in something called shells or energy levels. Only so many can be in any certain shell. Please see the picture of energy level. Electrons have special rules. You can't just shove all of the electrons into the first orbit of an electron. Electrons live in something called shells or energy levels. Only so many can be in any certain shell. The electrons in the outermost shell of any element are called valence electrons. So let's try it. How to draw a lithium atom. First, look at the periodic table. Second, determine the number of protons, look at the atomic number. Then determine the number of neutrons, atomic mass, atomic number. Then determine the number of electrons, look at the atomic number. So let's try it. Electrons equals 3 2 in the first shell, 1 in the second shell. Protons equals 3. Protons, electrons and atomic number are just the same in numbers. Next is atomic mass equals 7. Just add the number of neutron to the number of proton or electron or atomic number to get the atomic mass or weight. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Neutrons equals 4. 
Just subtract the atomic mass to the number of protons. 7 minus 3 equals 4. Lewis dot structure. The Lewis dot structure is a bit different from the Bohr model. It only shows the element symbol and its outermost electron shell. Thanks for listening. I hope you've learned something in this lesson. Thank you and God bless.